So it's Saturday morning and I've just taken delivery of this box. I'm not sat at my desk at the minute because it needs sorting out because there's things in here for other people as well. But how this got to me, I will never know when um, half the address was covered up. They probably used one of the labels. Um, but this box, wow, it is packed with stuff. Now this is from the lovely Stacy. Um, who sent me the, a few months ago, she sent me the rabbit tarot and the badger's forest. Um, you probably remember. So I got the small and poker sized version of the rabbit tarot. And she sent me the uh, 10th anniversary edition, which was the full tarot sized and the tarot size of the uh, badger's forest. But she got in touch to say she wanted to send some other decks from the same artist and um, she wanted to put some decks in for other people who are in the UK. So there is all sorts in here. She's put a lovely note in as well, telling me a few extra bits she's put in, like incense and beeswax candles and there is all sorts. So, wow, I don't know where, where to begin. So I'm gonna take it all out, get it in order, and then we'll we'll have a look at some of these decks. Okay. So, wow, look at all this. So I've sorted everything out, um, and there's a couple of other parcels in there for, for other people over here in the UK. And there's a couple of notes in here to explain things. So I don't know where to begin. Well, there's this lovely little postcard in here from Joanna Nelson, which I really love reading the, it looks like she's reading the Mons Tarot. Um, pretty sure. Um, but yeah, isn't that, that's gorgeous. I love Joanna Nelson's work, as you can see. Um, and she says she's gonna write a note on the back, but actually because of the shiny, um, it would smudge so, but it's nice to have this as a, as an art print anyway. There's some lovely, um, and I love this string that ties everything up. It reminds me of the song, Brown Paper... Oh, I'm not going to sing. <laughs> you know the song. Brown Paper Packages Tied Up With Strings. Um, there's something really just so, so lovely about it. So we have Positive Vibes and Midnight Incent. So they sound... Oh, that one smells lovely. Oh, they both do. So, and I do like the Satya range. So thank you for them. All right, so here we've got some Paolo Santo. Now she said in her, her note, um, where are we? She said there's some beeswax candles, which I'm assuming are these and white sage and lavender bungle oh which smells amazing wow and also a palo santo stick um two boxes of the incense sticks and some stones which i'm assuming are in these two so let's have a look at the beeswax candles and everything is wrapped so beautifully there I love beeswax candles they're so light um, but they just give off such a lovely glow so we have one in lilac which is really nice I like to smell them as well Let's pop that one pop that one there for the time being and then we have this one Oh, which is green. Nice earthy green. Oh, that's lovely. It's like a lime green. They smell really nice too. I mean, there's going to be bits everywhere. Um, <laughs> I've mentioned this material before, this velvety material, but this is lovely. Um, let's take out, let's just have a little... 
feel like having some Paolo Santo. The smell of Paolo Santo is just wonderful. Wow, I can smell it already. I probably didn't keep that lit for long enough really, but. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then we have this lovely uh, sage and lavender bungle as well. Oh wow, put that there. Okay, so there's a little um, Petoskey stone. They are um, quite rare and unique in appearance. Oh yeah, this is the fossilized coral stone, I think. Let's have a look at um, what we've got. I'm not sure. Yes, so this is the Petoskey stone. I have seen these and these are lovely. Look at the um, fossilized pattern on there. Really lovely. So it says they are quite rare and unique in appearance. It is a fossilized um, coral stone. Oh, there's lots of words there I need to look up. <laughs> but she's written so many, so much information. It's just really lovely to sit back, look up and read about them. 350 million years, these fossils. Wow. 350 million, it blows your mind. So this one will be um, Lake Superior Agate. Wow, look at that. Look at the lines in that. That's really lovely. Lake Superior, this is a type of agate stained by iron and found on the shores of Lake Superior. Wow. Isn't it amazing to get things from all all over the world. Look at these bits. I'm just going to pause, give this a wipe down because I don't think I'll be able to cope. <laughs> and then we'll have a look at some decks. Okay, so where to begin? So we've got four uh, decks, two kind of bridge size, two normal tarot size. Let's take them out of their bags. I love these bubble wrap bags. And look how beautifully these are wrapped up. Stacy, your attention to detail is wonderful. Again, <laughs> straight away. <laughs> Or maybe I need a better, a better cloth. This it looks nice, but it's not practical at all because everything is settling back down, and it it drives me to distraction. That's what I have to do. We can live with that. Okay, so let's open. Box number one. This is so exciting. Um, grab some scissors. This, the wrap's so lovely. It's um, it's almost a shame to tear tear through them. Oh, look at that! So that's the blue dog rose tarot, and. I just love um, Nikisha. I think it's Vanderhausen. Is that right? Uh, Vanderhoven. Vanderhoven. So this is the um, these decks I'd already got. So I've got the I've got a mini rabbit, which is like postage stamp size, which are in a little bag. Then I've got these poker sized ones, and then the lovely Stacy, who sent this today, sent me the Rabbit Tarot Deluxe Edition, which is tarot size. Um, and also the, um, which I adore this deck. I think it's my favorite so far. That might change today, but the Badger's Forest Tarot, which is really lovely. And you can check out 
the artist works at nikisha.com um but yeah it's nikisha van der hoven is the creator of these incredible incredible decks so um i will probably do full walkthroughs i just want to have a quick look at them so we've got a little pull out fold out and so what does it say here oh there's a couple of cards still left in um which will be at the back so the blue dog rose a cute tarot deck with 78 unique cards featuring cats dogs rodents birds fish and other domestic pets created by the artist nikisha wow so it's dogs cats and domestic pets <laughs> the magician the rabbit in the hat as i said i'll probably do full walkthroughs of these over time so um oh look but her art style is look at the hermit it's interesting that's making a the pattern in the background is making a cross it was the first thing i saw um but her art style is so wonderful i love her use of color really gorgeous wow so if you're an animal lover then these decks will really appeal i'm sure them back okay so blue dog rose tarot and then the other pocket size deck which we will take a look at Oh, it's the Tarat Tarot. <laughs> and I've been so um, wanting to get this deck for such a long time. Um, our L has this deck and it just looks so adorable. Oops. Okay, so some cards stay in. Let's have a look. They're probably not going to be in order now. They may be. But the Tarot Tarot for this one, it says, this tarot deck by Nikisha includes 78 unique art cards featuring uh, white rats. The rat tarot deck is by the creator of the rabbit tarot. <laughs> I love them. And this, these, the card stock is really nice. These are the backs for this deck. Card stock is really nice. They do, you know, all of these decks come with lovely cardstock. So we have some names, we have Sorceress rather than High Priestess. Um, any others, is the Hierophant? No, the Hierophant, still the Hierophant. We have our Lovers. I like the style of writing as well. Oh, look at that. I love Hermit cards when they're on the edges of hills or mountains or cliffs, just staring out. The wheel, which is the back, isn't it? Yep, the wheel. That is so cute. <laughs> Cutest death card ever. <laughs> Temperance. It's an interesting devil. Tower. Star. I'm hoping these aren't too bright. I hope you can see them okay. I'll adjust the light a bit just in case it's a bit glary. Um, sun. Don't remember seeing the moon. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. The world. And they are fully illustrated uh, pips. So, oh, just wonderful. The amount of depth that Nikisha has out as well. I mean, she's been busy getting all these decks done. So that's the Tarat. Tarot. Um, what to look at next? Let's go with this one. Ah, 
Ah, no, I'm going to leave that one till last because I know what that is. That's different. I'd forgotten actually about that until I just saw it. Okay, so this should be the riderless tarot, which is a horse themed deck. Yes. So the riderless tarot. A unique deck of horse art by Nikisha. So the riderless tarot is a horse art tarot deck created by the maker of the rabbit tarot. Based on traditional tarot, this deck features 78 unique cards with images of horses in their natural environment. And whilst these are tuck boxes, um, because they have fold outs in them, which are quite thick, it does um, push the card so that you can at least get your fingers in and get them out quite easily. I should say as well, I don't know if you can see down there, but um, these are all made by Game Crafter. So if you're looking to get any of these decks, you can get them from Game Crafter. These are the backs. And this is a normal uh, tarot size. exact tarot size and these are gorgeous so a bit like with the um other tarot size decks we have a panel here with the font oh wow just like how beautiful that card is isn't that just gorgeous i love the reflection in this pool the moon and the stars, the setting sun, it is stunning. The Empress. <laughs> Look at that. A family. The Hierophant, we have some rabbits. I love the trees making the uh, the symbol of the Hierophant staff. <laughs> Lovers. Beautiful. Oh, look at that for a hermit card. I had a children's book in the 70s when I was a kid. Um, it was a ladybird children's book. It was called Ned the Lonely Donkey. And it really reminds me of Ned from that story. The wheel. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at that. Oh, we've got the rolling horse instead of the hanged man. So these aren't numbered either. Death. Oops, the winter, we have temperance, beautiful, one hoof in the water, one on land, the devil, the tower, oh, <laughs> I love it. Look at that for the moon card. You have your wolf and the dog, the little crayfish, the two towers being the trees. It's just wonderful. This is gorgeous with the sunflowers as well. The world. And we've got other king creatures in all four corners. Beautiful. Yeah, so there we go. I've showed all the majors for this deck. It's it's wonderful. We'll just have a quick flip through like this. If there's any of these decks you want to um, see in more detail, let me know. Oh, 
I love the um, kind of the, the watercolor effect. It's really lovely, very light. Oh, we've got a ten of swords there. Look. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. I love it. So the final deck isn't by uh, Nikisha. Um, but recently, well, I'll say recently, last couple of months, you'll have seen that I've reviewed quite a few decks by uh, Beth Shalanen, 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 it is, um, including, you know, the Blue Cat Tarot. I'd already got the Guardian Tarot. And then there's the beautiful um, Dream Raven Tarot. And I've got Tarot Leaves on its way because I really like Beth's um, art. And again, the wonderful Stacey um, said that she would send me a deck by Beth uh, Salonen. And this one released in 2018 and I wasn't I wasn't even aware of this so um, I'm not sure if this was mass produced eventually because a lot of her decks are whether this is just an indie version but let's see what it says on the back of the uh, the back of the box it says about Isabel snail oh yeah sorry Isabel snail a tarot life um, Isabel Snail came along during the early years of teaching. She was based upon the innocent, laid-back nature of my oldest daughter, of whom nothing phases. Regardless of the situation, my child re resets her shell and her crown, looks around and continues on. She is my inspiration. Isn't that lovely? So it's dedicated to her daughter. About Beth... She graduated from the University of Maine with a BA in Fine Art. She currently teaches art in California. Beth finds inspiration for her art from love, dance and all points in between. So these are the backs. Oh, the cardstock is lovely. It's like a plain card, linen-y cardstock. Really, really nice. So we have the little white book, Isabel Snail, A Tarot Life. May your actions and decisions always come from a place of love, Beth Shalanen, uh, 2018. So it is a, a little, little white book. Starts straight away with the cards, with the fool. Yeah, and ends with the king. So, it's a little white book of card interpretations. But here we go. Look at this. Love and peace. Fall. Mapping out a journey. Wow. Imminent dangers like hurricanes. So, the borderless. I can't get over how lovely this cardstock is. It's amazing. The magician. Love that High Priestess. Empress. I don't know what to title this video. <laughs> because it's not just Nikisha's work, it's Beth's as well. But Oh, look at this, the Statue of Liberty for the Hierophant. The book, rosaries, his staff is there. And a little snail in each card. We have love rather than lovers. Rest. Oh no, resist. Sorry. Resist. The hermit. <laughs> Little cloak over. Suspend. Oh, 
Oh well, wow. that's I had to look twice. So it's a it's a crack in the shell, but you see the the sun rising. So it's like that cyclical nature of life and death, night and day. Colours in this are amazing. Look at that moon card. <laughs> uh, Isabel. <laughs> Love the towers. We've got the hounds. The world. And then we have our miners. Again, I'll just quickly go through so you can have a look but these decks that I've received today are so adorable that's kind of like a Marseille style um, ace of cups kind of uh, yeah interesting Our page knight, queens, and kings. We have thorns rather than swords. And pentacles. So it's only the sword suit that's changed. Look how beautiful they are. Really lovely, really lovely. And the cardstock, as I said, is just fantastic with this, with this deck. Wow, I feel really overwhelmed by just how, A, how generous Stacey is to send uh, these decks on. Uh, for me and the other people that I'll be passing them along to. Um, but just incredible. And the collection of cute animal decks is is really, really coming along. All, all of them amazing. With the exception of this one, which is by Beth, these are all by, um, by Nikisha. So do check out uh, Nikisha van der Hoeven um, by going to nikisha.com to have a look at the, the, the vast array of decks um, that she has. And thank you as well for sending me Beth Silenen's, um deck because I love her work. Um, she's so diverse. Every deck is different. Uh, Dream Raven is so different to the Blue Cat which is so different to the Guardian um, and to this, to Isabel Snail. So, and as I said, I'm looking forward to receiving the tarot leaves. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, if this uploads today, which it should do, then um, just remember no cup of catch-up in cards tonight because at 6 p.m. UK time, I'll be joining uh, Becca and Elle on the Tarot Times. So hopefully see you there. Have a great weekend. Go in peace. Namaste and blessed be.